start off by going to ggservers.net go to Minecraft hosting you pick the amount of recommended players for you you can activate premium if you want you can have add-ons if you want you go to the payment like you would on any normal website now the email address you put in is where they're going to give you the information to log on to your control panel. If you paid via Stripe or PayPal, you will sometimes need to uh, send them additional information. It's just easy. You just go to customer invoice. You should have an email. You copy paste this and you just write it into the ticket here like I did and they will fix it for you. Once you have completed the payment, you will get an email. Your Minecraft server is ready. In here, you're going to have all the information you need to log into your control panel. So you just click here. Next, download FileZilla. Go to this website, I'll put the link below, and you download FileZilla here. You're going to need FileZilla to upload files to your server. It's really easy to use, and I'll show you how to do it as well. Next, you go to this website, you download the latest version. Once the download is finished, you just open it, you make a new file, you name it whatever you want, you drag this inside, you need to have WinRAR installed by the way, it's easy and free, and then you extract it here. Afterwards you can delete this one, you don't, you don't need it. First you run this file, you just double click it and you let it run. Now you delete server starts. You put Minecraft server, right, you need to make a jar file first, you need to name it jar, then you put Minecraft server and FTB server inside, you put libraries inside, go to FTP file access and you take note of this info, you're gonna need it to log on to FileZilla. Next, log on to your FileZilla. Locate your desktop, whatever you want file. Take everything inside and just drag it over here. This is gonna take some time. Next, go back to your control panel, servers, my servers. You just make sure everything is disabled. You just have to do this for some reason, I don't know why and uh, you just accept, save, you start the server now with nothing. This is going to launch a vanilla Minecraft server. I think you just need to do it to generate some files. So you wait a bit until this one lights green. Okay, you stop the server. You go to files, FTP file access. You delete your uh, world folder, whatever you name that. You type in feed the beast ftb dot jar. You pick feed the beast. You name again, doesn't matter. It's important that you go to your file cellar and you rename this. Your Minecraft server should now be up and running. To find the IP, just go to your, your Minecraft server is ready email and you copy paste your server IP. Next go to this site up here. You download this. This is the launcher for Feed the Beast. You're gonna need it to play. You don't need the vanilla launcher. You only need this one, I think. And then you go to the launcher. By the way, the launcher is very slow when you start the game because it's a very big mod pack. Anyway, then you go to options and you increase the RAM to 3 GB. And then uh, you click on this at the top and you launch it or you download it. It's going to be a download button instead of a launch button. 
have fun 